Hey everybody, Ryan from My Kid Cures Cancer along with Ryder and Channing. We were all just interviewed today for the Healthy Gut, Happy Child Summit along with, uh, along with our beautiful wife and mother, Teddy. And it gave me the idea to just talk to you guys a little bit about uh, some of my key strategies for gut health. Getting the body 100% functioning correctly first out of the gates and then doing all the specific kind of anti-cancer stuff. The cancer is, is a disease of, you know, it's, it's something not going right with your body. So the more you can focus on making sure that your body is functioning at 110%, that's going to give you a big leg up in the fight against cancer. And <laughs> I think first and foremost, what we're coming to find is that when you're talking about the body working properly, it really boils down to the gut in a lot of these cases. So two of my big, big, big gut, um, gut strategies, I guess you could say, would be fasting and rotation. Just throwing probiotics at the gut is, if you have a dysbiosis, meaning more bad bacteria than good bacteria, just throwing some more good bacteria at the problem isn't going to solve it. You know, this, this, this is literally equivalent actually to throwing money at the problem because you're buying all these expensive probiotics and throwing them in there, but it's, at the end of the day, it's, you, you don't have a very good chance. Are you actually getting anything there, bud? You don't have a very good chance of, um, of leveling the playing field just by throwing some extra good bacteria in there. You really need a more powerful strategy and that powerful strategy is fasting. So the idea here and this is the idea with cancer, actually, too. They, they work hand in hand. But the, the idea with both cancer and um, your gut bacteria is you want to starve everything down. Starve everything down. And that's by literally not eating anything. And then once you've starved everything down, um, you know, the, the, the healthy cells or the healthy gut bacteria, they're healthy for a reason. They're going to survive getting starved down. The, the unhealthy cells, the cancer cells, or the, you know, the bad bacteria, which we're finding out more and more can, can actually cause cancer, uh, they're gonna have a lot harder time surviving that, that fast, that starvation, because uh, you know, it, the, their, their essence is, is unhealthy. Um, and so that is the time where you can come in with you know, some probiotics and some fermented foods and some other, other health strategies after you've starved those things down, and then you, you have a much better chance to inoculate with the good stuff at that point and raise everything back up uh, to where you want it. So uh, just a couple practical tips on, on how you'd actually go about implementing this. As a lifestyle, I have kind of hijacked uh, Dr. Pompa's uh, rule. So it's the 5-1-1 principle, and this is five days of intermittent fasting and intermittent fasting would be considered a short time window. So this would be a very short time window of eating your food. Right What's going on? Like a six to eight hour window. And so this would look like, you know, eating from 12 to six or one to seven. You don't want to eat that late at night either. That's, that's another thing. So, you know, at a minimum of two hours before you go to bed is really, is really about the time, you know, you, you should be having your last meal at least. Ryder has not been eating until, you know, at least about noon or so, and, and we're targeting about a, a six o'clock cutoff for his dinner. Like I said, it's, it's, it's one, starving the stuff down, and two, you want to increase your window of health and healing. So you're either digesting and building, and that's where your energy is going, or your energy is going to healing and repairing. Longer you can make that window, the better. Five days of that. One day of a 24 hour fast. And 24 hours means dinner to dinner. You know, having that dinner within the day so you're not actually going the whole day. So you got one day of that, and then one day of just a regular, more traditional, um, you know, eating all day sort of thing. You can call that the feast day. And that's where you're basically reminding your body that it's not starving and uh, just, just eating away. And it's really this, this variation that kind of keeps your body on its toes 
and it's good for forcing adaptation within your own body. We, you know, the more you can force your body to adapt to different different uh, scenarios, you know, diet variation, the more it is going to adapt. The healthy part of your body is going to adapt, and the unhealthy part of your body, be it cancer cells or bad bacteria, is not going to adapt. And then every once in a while, periodically, you do a longer block fast. And that would be, you know, three, four, five, seven, um, you know, a longer days I'm talking about, but a longer period of time where you're going multiple days without eating. I myself have not eaten for the past three days. Um, it, it actually hasn't been that bad. You know, I've been, I've been following this, this kind of intermittent lifestyle for a while and I figured what the heck. And that is when, you know, especially after those longer fasts, that's when you can really get in there and re-inoculate with the good stuff and, um, and really do some damage. So speaking of the good stuff, rotation is our other strategy as far as uh, probiotic use and fermented foods is concerned. Uh, yeah, you, you want the greatest diversity possible in your gut. And so, you know, when you hear about this one particular probiotic being the best probi probiotic in the world, uh, you know, it's probably, it could be a very good probiotic, but at the end of the day, if that's the only thing you're using day in, day out, week out, week in, week out, you know, month after month, year after year, uh, you know, that, that can actually lead to some problems if, if you use the same thing all the time because then you get weird imbalances because you just have that, you know, those, those few particular strains, whatever that particular probiotic is providing. Here, bud, let's, let's call it good on that for now. Rotate the probiotics is where I was trying to get with that. Um, you know, you, you find the best probiotics that you like, uh, find a handful of them, and then just rotate through them. You're gonna get the best diversity that way. So what we have on hand right now, we have HMF powder by uh, Genestra Brands. We really like that. We actually usually get the HMF intensive. I don't, this might have been a mistake getting this one, but uh, it's, it's good nonetheless. <laughs> Here, 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 let's show. Can you say Mary Ruth's probiotics? Say Mary Ruth's probiotic. So we really like this one. This has a ton of different strains in it. And, uh, and we actually got this idea from, from our good friend Scott Shaveri, who um, is actually the newest writer for MyKidCuresCancer.com written a couple good articles on there, and if you want to see a really good video on integrative cancer care for children, check out the, the video on, on the YouTube channel that we made. I, I think it's uh, Integrative Cancer, Integrative Childhood Cancer, A Day in the Life, something like that. It's, it's also on the website. We just have it on a post on there, on, on mykidcurescancer.com, so you can find it that way too. Uh, but but this is this is what he was using at the time for his son. We picked it up. We really liked it. We also really liked this inner the eco water. coconut water that uh, that you can find basically at at any. It needs to be refrigerated, so you can't really order it on Amazon. But you can find it just on any in any health food store. Go to Whole Foods or Natural Grocers or something like that. They'll, they'll have it there. You want some of this coconut water, bud? And uh, lastly, that's it, actually. So the other thing would just be rotating through fermented foods and, and fermented uh, beverages. You know, uh, make a sauerkraut one week, uh, fermented carrots the next week, kombucha, kefir, just, just, you know, pick one fermented food every week and, and eat that and then move on to the next one. Maybe have one fermented food and one fermented beverage, something like that. Uh, so that's it. Intermittent fasting, the 5-1-1 rule, periodic block fasts, and then, and then re-inoculate with a rotating cast of characters with, um, with probiotics and fermented foods, and you're gonna be doing all right. Okay, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, MyKidCuresCancer.com, posting videos like this pretty much every day on a, on a new health topic. And also be sure to check out the What We Use tab at MyKidCuresCancer.com. Which, uh, which which just has everything we use on there. We we do a lot of do a lot of digging to try to find the best products, and and put them all there for you in one easy to find place. All right, that's it. Have a good night, everybody. God bless and good luck.